Now, what do you think was LWT's most successful comedy show ever? It topped the ratings for three years. It's been shown around the world in over 40 countries. Its characters became quite simply household names, and I don't think it'll take you very long to guess. Nothing about babies. Well, a little bit. What's wrong with it? <laughs> I don't know. It's not born yet. Hey? There's a woman upstairs just about to have it. <laughs> I'll, I'll run up to the hospital. I'll run no, up. no, no, there's no time for that, mate. I'll just send that kid for the ambulance. You better get up there, see what he can do. Give her a hand. <laughs> Me? <laughs> you must be for potty, mate. We brought the terrible two back again. It is, of course, Reg Varney and Bob Grant. It's great to see the pair of you. Lovely to see you too, Lovely. Nice to be here. I know it was created especially for you, Reg, but when you read the script at the beginning, did you know, in, from a gut point of view, it was going to be a great hit? Oh, yeah, yeah. I read it in Australia, actually. And when I got home, I said to my wife, this is a winner. And I, but I didn't know it was going to be as big as it was. Yeah. It was fantastic. It and was. of course, all, all the filming, Bob, was done around uh, Wood Green Depot, wasn't it? So what That's kind right. of reaction did you get there? Well, at first, they were very suspicious of us, all the bus people, because they thought we were going to send them up, you know. And in fact, they had a staff shortage when we arrived there. And after the series had been on for a few weeks, they had a waiting list for people <laughs> who wanted to join Wood Green Depot. So you did them a favour in the end, Well, obviously. we did, and uh, they were very good to us, and they gave us many very good stories. Of course, life didn't exactly revolve around the depot because home life was very important for you, Reg, wasn't it? Always. And of course, there's a lovely lady we must invite on to the sofa because she became one of the most famous mums, I think, on television. And here she is, Doris Hare. Come on, Mum. Hi, Doris. 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 Hi,
<laughs> and, you're, <laughs> and you're still like that, are you, Anna? I'm still sex like that. Mad. I'm still sex mag and I don't answer back. <laughs> you gave that husband of yours on screen, though, a really rough time, didn't you? Oh, yes, but I loved him, really. Where is he? Where's my Arthur? Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I have brought this out my savings and the repeats of On the Buses. <laughs> <laughs> Great figure. <laughs> Champagne. Oh, yeah. so, so you're not as nasty then, Michael Robbins, as everybody makes out? If you ask my colleagues, they'll tell you I'm the most gentle, affable man that ever existed. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you show everybody how affable you can be by pouring everyone a glass of I'm champagne? Oh, yes. Get the yes. And while they're oh, pouring yeah. all the champagne, I have to tell you, the team are all going to stay with us to watch their show, which is coming up very soon. But, of course, we haven't forgotten that we've got to visit yeah, one more LWT celebrity. Yeah. Well, we're going to have a lot of fun. As you can see, we're settling back with a little of yes. the old shampoos uh, to watch that episode of On the Buses. Oh. Cheers. 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 Cheers.